CJ Bruton, how are you enjoying your time in Vegas as a whole before we get into things? Uh, it's great to come out here and obviously catch up with a lot of people from my time of playing, a lot of coaches that have transitioned from assistant coaches to head coaches and, um, and from assistant coaches to GMs and seeing the players from LeBron James and Chris Paul to guys that I've played against in my time. Uh, been in and out of the international basketball. It's been fun. Now we know what's been reported with the current Adelaide situation pertaining Robert Franks. Do you have an update for us? Um, I heard that it's getting close to getting done. Um, um, I'll, I'll find out in the next 24 to 48 hours if, if, if that's all uh, confirmed. But um, as of right now, that he's been planning on trying to find other opportunities overseas. And um, yeah, he has our blessings as as he was uh, open and honest about what he wanted to do and where he wants to go. Makes a bit of an interesting week to start. We've been here, what, day five, day six now. I've lost track. Everything's one day right now in here, but because you obviously have to look for a potential replacement, you're not sure how that goes with the conversation. So it's been a tough week for you. It has been a very tough week. Uh, agents, I've been, everyone knows uh, that this was might be playing out in the background, but I can't engage in conversation. and. As it gets later and closer to our season or our preseason, um, having that guy secure and with all the international teams that are here, along with the, the two ways, um, it's uh, slim picking right now. But um, okay, it's, from my international experience and the, from the GMs that I do know very well here and the head coaches I do know here in the NBA, um, they've been very open about here's who, if you're looking for this position, this is where someone that might be in your range that might not get a look. Um, i also like to try and pinch one of their players, which would be ideal for the NBL as well. We, we haven't spoke about it to any other coach, but you mentioned it, the two ways, the extra two-way spot now for NBA team. It, it makes it a little harder, I'm sure, to try and find that perfect piece. It does. I mean, it does. Like, I guess the, the DJ Hogs um, and even, like, the dual briefs, like, if, for them to come back to Australia, there's still a chance for them to be in the NBA. Um, and then other teams, you, you'll start scrambling about what's next. Um, and who's not overseas and who's coming back from injury and who has a sh chance to be in the NBA or who can just help your team shift the needle to be uh, in the playoffs. Talk to you a little bit about the squad that you have been able to put together in the off-season. We know the Jacob Wiley announcement and he was a fan favourite in Adelaide. It'd be good to have him back in the Sixers uniform. Yeah, definitely excited to have Jacob back. Uh, his energy, um, his defensive presence, but his ability to connect with players um, and set the tone for the group um, day in and day out with his work ethic. He's definitely a special person, he's a special human being and uh, I'm excited that he's he wanted to be in Adelaide and that was a, it wasn't a, I didn't have to do anything to prompt that, that was something that he wanted to do and I'm sure you hear more about that throughout the year. And you've got that balance now, you bring in a veteran head like Jason Kinney, you've got the youngsters like Nick Marshall, it seems to be a really good balance. Yeah, I think uh, having guys that can play on the ball and off the ball, um, clearly play your natural position and having a, a better balance I guess everyone sees our team as I you know I didn't have uh, I had Mitch McCarron as a point and then I had Sunday Detch and Craig Randall uh, but having a, a point guard come into the squad helps helps Mitch in the backcourt as well uh, but also with Sunday and, and Nick Marshall and AC um, we have some good length and size and ability to keep changing the game. Well, look, CJ, I appreciate your time. I'm tired from all the running around. I can't imagine how you've been doing. So thank you and good luck this year. I appreciate it. Thank you.